Hey, it's Winita Wrestling, y'all. Happy Tuesday, you guys, or whatever day it may be when you guys see this. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day. So today I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I was doing a little bit of hunting. Uh, now when I say that, I mean fig hunting. Um, it's actually been a while for me since I've done some fig hunting. I had said to myself that I was going to, you know, take it easy and stuff like that um, and stuff and not do it as much because, I mean, I can't, you know, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I'm like, yo, uh, this little hobby is like kind of putting a dent in the wallet, you know, so I had to go ahead and just you know, chill out for a little bit. Um, now, I will say, as long as I've been a wrestling fan and stuff like that, I'll be honest with you guys, I was never really into fig collecting and stuff like that. Um, I don't know why or, you know, I just never got it, got into it. It was just, it was just never um, my thing, you know. However, again, me being a day one huge supporter of AEW. I had said to myself that um, if and when they come out with wrestling figs, I'm going to get them. I want them. I have to have them. And um, you guys can see back here, I, uh, I have quite a bit of them um, up there. Um, I have the complete sets one through five, um, including Little Brand Brand, um, which, you know, I cannot take the credit for that. Um, I actually got that as a Christmas gift from my amazing brother. Um, so the original Brand Brand, not the reprint and stuff like that. So um, I have, um, I have her back there as well, and stuff like that. So now, as far as for the fake hunting and stuff like that, I decided to try to go ahead and resume my fake hunting. Um, not because I necessarily want to go ahead and like get, you know, all of the other ones because there's um, some of them that have, you know, duplicates and stuff like that that are coming out um, as far as there's like several Kenny Omegas, uh, you know, a couple of uh, MJFs and stuff like that. And so for me now moving forward, I would rather have or try to collect um, the AEW figs um, whose wrestler is coming out for the first time and stuff like that. Um, but at least I can say for myself that I've gotten, like I said, series one through five incomplete, you know, complete. So um, I'm happy with that and I'm cool with that. Um, and so I don't know if you guys saw some of the other videos I did. I actually, you know, showed you guys a couple of the ones um, that I had and stuff like that. But for today, um, like I said, I went hunting because I really want Wardlow because I love Wardlow. Um, if you guys don't know that by now. <laughs> so um, I went over, you know, out and about and stuff like that, trying to um, see if I can find him. And of course, I had no luck. And in addition to that, I was actually out trying to see if I could find the AEW Upper Deck cards too, which I don't know if you guys have had any luck. I have not. I have not been able to find any of them anywhere. Um, if you guys have any tips or, you know, have been able to locate them in stores and stuff like that, you know, please drop it in the comments. Let me know. Um, and if you guys did, you know, did you guys get any good cards and stuff like that? So, but I did want to go ahead and share with you guys because in my hunt for looking for Wardlow, I came across, now mind you, I went to several stores and stuff like that nothing i found nothing no figs at all of any of them and that's for me that's been my luck now like i said most of these like i said uh i think it was series one through three i actually like went about and like hunted them and stuff like that which oh my gosh 
it was like literally needles and haystacks and stuff like that. I mean, I can count on one hand how many times I actually found figs in stores and stuff like that. They've just been that hard to find. Um, and then I smartened up and I ended up deciding to go ahead and um, get my figs off of ringside. You know, so I went ahead and actually did that for series four and five uh, because again, I didn't want to have to like, you know, go through the process of trying to find and like nothing and I mean I enjoyed the hunt of it and stuff like that but I also was like you know stressing out at the fact that what if I don't find them and I want them you know so um I ended up doing that but like I said after that I was like yeah, I probably need to calm down a little bit and stuff like that but uh, in any event like I said I when I went out and about and stuff like that yesterday, and guys, I have to show you. Check this, guys. Well, this is another one that I had been looking for and stuff like that that I wanted, okay? And I was able to find him. Look, guys. It's the best man. Well, used to be. He's the redeemer now. Look at that. I am so happy, so happy because he, um, he had been one that I had been looking for also and had not been able to find him, guys. Check that out. It's so cool. It's, it's his first fig with AEW and with his blonde hair. Check out that. Let me see if you get that. See that? Now, and guess what, guys? I lucked out because the entire line, the entire line was there. And I, and of course, there was only one set. And I was like, literally, I'm like, holy moly. I'm like, am I really seeing this right now? Are they really all here, the whole set? This is the unmatched collection. This is the this is the series one and stuff like that. So um I went ahead, I grabbed them. Well, with the exception, there was only one I didn't grab. And I don't know why. I guess maybe I I wanted to just at least leave one there for someone who, you know, someone else that wanted, you know, was trying to find one. So I ended up not getting Dustin's his I left there um and stuff like that but I already have I have a Dustin fig because remember guys I told you that me I'm more so like wanting to focus on getting figs of wrestlers that I don't have and stuff like that so and plus I already had Dustin Rhodes and stuff like that from a period a previous series so that's why I, you know also I decided to go ahead and leave him there so um here's Miro let me show you the other one from the series, the doctor will see you now. Check it, you guys. Yes. Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. Yes, you guys. Oh, she is such a boss. She's, she's a champ, she's a dentist, she's everything, you guys. Now, I, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to try to be dishonest with you guys. Me, personally, like this design and stuff like that of hers, like, it's, 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 it's okay and stuff like that. Um, but it's not like, holy moly, oh my gosh, like, you know, I, um, the one, the, the fig, my favorite fig of hers is the, um, blood and guts one, the ringside exclusive, um, which I've, I, um, showed it to you guys in a previous video, but you know what? I, let me grab it so that way you guys can see what I'm talking about. Look at it guys. See my absolute fave. Like this is my favorite one of her to date, but here we go. It's it's they're both awesome. They're both great. Um, but I I love the detail and stuff like that 
uh, for the blood and guts one and stuff like that. But I'm not going to take anything away from this one because this one is uh, her first official fig that came and came out and stuff like that. So um, I definitely wanted to make sure to have this one and stuff like that. So take a look at the jacket and stuff like that. She's like the bomb.com guys. She's a wrestler. She's a dentist. Like she's a she's a go-getter. She's awesome. I love her hair here. It's pretty cool, right? Now here's the next one. Now this was one that I wanted to have, even though he already has um, a, a fig that previously came out that I have and stuff like that. Darby Allen. Now, right now, I got a little beef with him, though, because he and Sting, you know, they're over there, you know, giving my guys the acclaim, you know, you know, some hard times right now. And, I'm, and I don't appreciate that, you know, um, but if he's if they're not messing with, you know, the acclaim. I'm down with them. They're cool. But right now, mm, I don't know. But I like this one because it has way more detail. I mean, check that out, guys. From when he was TNT champion. This is so freaking cool, man. Look at that. I love that. pretty awesome right now check the um i have the unrivaled collection one of his too i mean look at the difference as far as detail and stuff like that check it look at that it's pretty cool right i can't i don't know if i could pick you know that i like one or the other i mean they look both look great. They both look great. Like I said, they definitely put a lot more into the unmatched collection and stuff like that. But as far as like the detail and stuff like that to both of them, they look awesome. Look at that. Here's the skateboard. Yeah, looks cool. Here's the back of this one. This character is so freaking cool, man. Yeah. Again, super cool, super awesome dude. But right now, I can't root for him, man, because he's over there going head to head with my favorite tag team. And I can't go against the acclaimed. So did you guys happen to catch the music video that dropped last week? Goth phase? Oh my gosh, I was literally dying, you guys. It was so freaking hilarious. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it, oh my gosh, you guys have to go look it up and look at it. It is so freaking funny. Anthony Bones is over there uh, dressed up as uh, Darby Allen. It's freaking a riot. Now, the next two, I, I, I want to leave you know, to compare because I have the same amount of figs with them and from this series and that's Kenny Omega and uh, Cody. I want to go ahead and take you guys back a little bit though to both uh, with them specifically. Um, the toys um, that I have of them to start with or that I had while they were both Bullet Club during their New Japan days is their Funko Pops, you guys. The Funko Pops that they came out with. Check it. Yay, this was the this was the first Funko that I ever purchased, you guys. The Bullet Club Funkos. Before that, I was like I said, I was not into like, you know wrestling figs toys and stuff like that that was not you know really my thing but when i saw that they were coming out with 
you know, these Funkos and stuff like that, uh, I had to get them because again, I am a big supporter of the elite, you know, the Bullet Club at the time, Kenny Omega, you know, the Young Bucks and stuff like that, Hangman, Cody, all of them. I loved what they were doing. So if there was something out or something that they were doing, I was there supporting 100%. And if you guys see, I have the Young Bucks Funkos as well up there and stuff like that. So I have that. That's his first, I guess you could say, official toy that came out with and stuff. Because I love Kenny. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's the best wrestler in the whole world. The best belt machine. Oh, I love him. I can't wait for him to come back. So I have... So from that, then comes his first official ever toy and stuff like that which I have right here. Ta-da! Yes. I, guys, I'm telling you, I was not into wrestling, toys, collecting, anything like that. But as soon as I knew that they were coming out with wrestling fakes, I was like, yep, I'm going to get them. So check this out, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. So beautiful. Now here's their, here's the second one that he came out, that came out for him of the Unrivaled collection and stuff like that. This is from series four. Check this out. He is so beautiful. I love him. Look at that. He's so perfect, you guys. So perfect. Check it. The cleaner. The belt collector. Look at that. So perfect, you guys. He's so perfect. And then his newest one from the Unmatched Collection. Boom. Look at that, guys. He's so perfect, you guys. Look at that. Love it. Love it. They did so good. They did so good with his. He looks awesome. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Whew. Just love, love, love him. He is, uh, and I'm not even joking, guys. He's literally the reason that I started watching indie, you know, indie wrestling and watching wrestling outside of WWE. I will never, ever forget. It was um, Wrestle Kingdom that I watched. And it was, it was a match between him and Okada. You guys, I had never in my life seen a match like what them, what they, you know, what them two had in my life. It literally changed me. It was one of, if not the best wrestling match I had ever seen in my life. And from then on, I have been a huge Kenny Omega fan. Like I thankfully got the opportunity to meet him at a Ring of Honor show and stuff like that, you know, several years ago now and stuff like that. And I just, I got the opportunity to go ahead and just tell him what an impact he had on me on renewing my love for professional wrestling. I mean, my gosh, like he's just incredible. I mean, everything this man does. Oh my gosh. It's just perfection. You guys, he's Oh, he's my heart, guys. He's like my heart. I love him, like for real. So yeah, those, um, oh, well, just to compare real quick, the first one that ever came out with his latest one. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. I will say I love, I love, um, like the gear and stuff, you know, that he has in the first fig a lot more, I will say. 
but you know i appreciate all his abs and stuff like that in this one both very nice absolutely absolutely must have must have okay and then the last one of the series of you know the one that i have because i don't have dustin is mr Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare. Now here's his Funko Pop. Check it out, guys. Look at him. And whoa, like, oh snap, he has brown hair here. Look at that. Look at that. You see his little dream tattoo and stuff like that on there. Cool, right yeah again not a Funko Pop collector at all nope however when I found out that they were coming out with Funkos of them had to get them had to so here is the first ever Cody unrivaled series one fig right here boom this is the original run not the reprints so i'm not gonna lie to you guys for me when this happened and stuff like that as far as when he had came out and stuff he totally gave me triple h vibes guys i was like come on come on cody come on but you know what he is hands down one of the nicest wrestlers i have ever met and i've had um you know the opportunity to you know converse with and stuff like that um a couple of different times and he's he's so nice he's so nice he he really makes me believe that like he really cares i mean because he you know he could ha he has and probably talks to gosh knows how many people every day and people that come up to him and stuff like that but when he's talking to you like he's like there he's present he's in the moment he's hearing you out and stuff like that and he genuinely seems to care what it is that you have to say and i admire that so much about him and stuff so now here is his next um fig this is from still from the unrivaled collection but this is from the series four so here's this one look at that and then of course here he's still cody he's not cody rhodes yet here but i like how they have the two two heads and stuff like that here and um his shirt and stuff like that throne breaker I like this. I like this one because that's literally more him and stuff like that when he has that that smile, that laugh going on there. Check that out. Yes. Yeah, pretty cool. Now compare from the first one to the next one that came out. Check this out. This one looks really kind of like, you know, light, you know, and stuff like that. But I love, I love his gear. I love this gear that he has here. Right there. So, so serious here. He means business. Boom. I like him with the blonde hair. I like him with the blonde hair. We'll see. We'll see how long he um, he keeps that. I mean, I'm waiting for him to go heel because honestly, guys, I I prefer him as a heel. I like him as a heel, but that's just me. Now, here from the series, the unmatched series. Here's his fig here, which this one's. This one's somewhat heavy, you guys. I, I, I um, I don't know if it's all fig or, or or what, but check that out. Look at that. 
the whole color and stuff like that of the the box and stuff or whatever it's just like oh i mean compared to as you guys what you know saw with these other ones and everything but i like it and apparently this with, with this one you get like a poster and stuff like that it comes with a poster yeah see and this is what the poster looks like and everything like that i'm not going to take it out of the box i'm going to go ahead and just like leave it like this but that's the poster i guess that comes with it and stuff Ooh, this one this one if just you know if you play with this one you need to to be careful because like i said this one feels like it's got some weight to it and stuff like that so now compare this one with the first ever fig that he came out with with aew let me go ahead and put it this way check it look at that that's look at that and 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 the thing is is like they're both the same in length as far as like you know the box and stuff like that but this one to me i don't know it just seems so much like so much bigger and it's and it's not like as far as the size it's the same as far as like the size look at that that's where it's look at that there you go Yeah, but I will say out of the Cody figs that have come out, if I have to pick one right now, as far as like my favorite, hmm, I think, I think I'm going to have to go with the first one that came out. I mean, I like this one because of like the details and the stuff that it has on it, but I don't know there's just something about this one that I, I like I like more and stuff like that so so yeah that's it you guys like I said I even with all of those like I said I am still on the hunt for Wardlow you guys I want Wardlow um so I but like I said in my search in my hunt I found those and I was like, holy moly. I'm like, yeah, I, I got to get them because again, th those type of things do not happen all the time, at least not in my area. I mean, it is literally needles in haystacks, guys. When I go to try to look for fakes, I can like seriously never find any at all it's like so scarce and there's several different stores and stuff like that that are in my area that i go to um and i just never have the luck um now the unmatched collection and stuff like that i was actually um out of town and stuff like that and i just you know took it upon myself you know when i had went to a store so I'm like, you know what like let me just go let me go just check and stuff because again initially my original search was going to be for the upper deck cards and stuff like that um so that and of course trying to see if maybe i could find wardlow and again i came across um the series one of the unmatched collections so that just goes to show you guys you never know you're ne you never know what you're going to find and stuff like that so just wanted to share that with you guys and um you know just ask you guys do you guys have any suggestions as far as like you know fig hunting and stuff like that and you know is there you know any um anything that you think that would help um as far as you know with the the collecting as far as like you know um uh expanding it or you know or you know trading them or you know the possibility of, of selling or you know trying to you know do trading and you know what you know what's this what's you know what's your take on all that because for me um you know i've thought about um the possibility or the idea of you know selling figs and stuff like that or whatever because apparently there's a big market for it um again so in the dark when it comes to figs and all that stuff but i don't know like i i tried a, for a little bit and stuff like that but it just kind of takes away the fun for me um i like to have them you know to to have them and stuff like that so 
Um, but that's just me. That's just me. So, well, that's it, you guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. And, you know, um, as I, you know, keep keep going and, and try to grow, you know, this channel and stuff like that, you know, I'm going to be, like I said, doing some different things here and there and stuff. But of course, you know, um, trying to keep it, you know, wrestling related and stuff like that. So I really appreciate you guys, you know, checking me out and stuff like that. And, you know, um, all the love, the support that you guys have already given me. This has actually been pretty fun and um, I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to, you know, continuing this, growing this and, you know, like I said, just have fun talking wrestling. <laughs> so um, I will talk to you guys next time. You guys take care. Have a great day. And remember, guys, wrestling is life. Bye.